Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Utah Spirit Trail cocktail videos. My name's Charles, and tonight's cocktail is called the Ghostbuster. And this one stars Denim Break Distillery's Coconut Rum, but it's the Disco Coconut Rum, and it really, it has that cool glitter in it. Yeah, seriously, if you haven't seen this stuff, you really need to get out more. Check that out. Isn't that cool? My goodness. I just love this stuff. I love playing with it. It's a great tasting coconut rum. And it just makes a cocktail look super cool. So it's got some blue curacao in it. It's got some orange juice, some pineapple juice, and some more cream, which it seems like all of our October cocktails have had so far. It's cream. Incidentally, Denbrick Distillery is on page five. Of your Utah Spirit Trail Guide. The good book. Ticket to Adventure. You've seen it before. You know the drill, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start out with an ounce and a half of Denim Breaks Disco Coconut Rum. Seriously, I go through so much of this stuff. It's not funny. An ounce and a half. All right. And then one ounce of the blue curse out. Lighting, lighting it right here. Blue curacao blue is another fun ingredient to play with. We're going to do two ounces of pineapple juice. One ounce of orange juice. Orange juice is another one you want to shake up. And strip the thing off. And then one ounce of cream. This one, uh, also the recipe calls for it. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, okay, we're gonna add some ice and then we're gonna shake it. All right. Oh wow, you can man. It really smells good. Very pineapple coconut. I'm gonna add just a little bit more ice into the glass. Again, this is another one you don't need to get like the fancy clear ice or the Shape the ice. I know they even have pumpkin molds for ice nowadays. But you don't need to have all that because you can't see it. And this is, you're just going to pour it straight into the glass after I clean it. So we're just going to pour it straight into the glass. It's like a blue milkshake, but it smells a lot better. Whew. Man, that smells so good. I'm not even playing around. That smells great. I need a straw. I 
And for a garnish? It's Halloween, right? Kind of. How about we throw an eyeball on there? There you go. Ghostbuster. Eyeball edition. Actually, you know what would be great in this cocktail? Witch's finger. Went over to Michael's the other day and found these chocolate molds. Be perfect for cocktails, right? Right next to the eyeball. Are you looking at me? And there you go. The Ghostbuster. Give me the finger. Huh? Let's grab a straw. Give this thing a little whirl. Oh. Wow. That is, that is really good. Wow, the coconut. I'm probably used to me cleaning up every, every time I spill something. Coconut in this is fantastic. And, and the melon liqueur, the blue curacao, it really, it tastes like a melon ball, but better. Um, oh, the cream just really kind of holds everything together, gives it texture. The eyeball is a little disturbing, if I'm honest. And I feel like the finger's gonna go up my nose while I'm drinking it. But it's a fun cocktail. If you're having a Halloween party, this would be great for that. Because you could, seriously, you could do the, the mold does six fingers at a time. Usually, you know, I'm always just given the one. But this is just a fantastic cocktail. It'd be fun to share with friends. And I tell you, I'm really enjoying it. Hmm. Well, I may just enjoy another one of these after this. Here's to hoping this day found you in good spirits with fiendish spirits. <laughs>